Hello! So in this video, we're going to go over a bit more depth about how to pull out those title treatments, those logos, from the cover images that you may find. Uh, whether it's through Previews World here, or Google Image Search, or wherever. We're going to go through a few different examples of how you can pull these logos off of the covers to use on your labels. So you're looking at this cover right here. Let's take a better look. So you can see that's Danny Moonstar right there. It's in the way you have characters other images that might be in the way of what you're trying to get and in a case like this you could try to pull this off but the better thing to do is if you can try to find your title whatever issue it may be it doesn't matter you're going to find the present volume of whatever title you're looking for you're going to find that there's a small button here that says view all items in this series. So you can go ahead and click and you're going to see the rest of the series and see all the issues. And there's also another button here where you can click that says show variants. So you can use variant artwork as well if that's what you like. So we can see a few different options here. We can see there's a red background on this second printing of issue number one and this is against a flat white background there this one looks okay as well these ones look smaller but we'll go with one of these so you can see new means right there so this is closer to the color on this one Right, if we zoom in and take a look and compare the two. So we can pull that one. And I think this is actually the one I use for my labels. So we're going to copy this image and we're going to bring this into Photoshop. So you can see this is uh, the template that I've provided in the links from Blind Science, blindscience.com. And we're going to open a new document. So this is after we've copied that image previously. Photoshop will automatically detect the dimensions for what you copied. And you can see here it says preset clipboard, which is basically what you copied. You're going to press OK. And now we're going to, you can edit paste or control V, which is just the shortcut. So we're going to zoom in here. Right now we're at 100%. So let's just focus on this part of the image here. So I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee tool right there. And then I'm going to press on the crop tool. And after that, it's gonna crop that out. And I press enter, I press enter again. So I'm pressing enter twice. And then it's going to reduce it down to this selection that we made. So now we can try to see with the magic wand tool, see if it likes that. So yeah, so it did a pretty good job right there of just pulling that out. Um, sometimes you might have difficulty. So this is the first method. We just use the magic wand tool. I'm going to click in and then I press Control Shift I. And that's going to inverse the selection. So control shift I and that'll inverse that. And that'll give us the opposite of what the background being selected. And we're going to control C. And then shift control V. And that puts it in the same position that it was in before. So there you go. That's the first method. The magic wand tool. Now. 
if you have, let's say, the background, let's say you're trying to use the magic wand tool and the selection is not coming out that easily, as you can see right there. The other option is to use this right here, the magnetic lasso tool. So you can actually, if you need to, zoom in even more beyond 100%. And slowly, it'll automatically snap to what is being selected. So it recognizes the contrast of the image. It's, it's a quick and dirty way to do it. So if you'd like, you can click in and make points. So it'll be a little cleaner as opposed to just, you know, letting it do its thing. You can see it sort of rounded it out a bit there. And you can press backspace and that'll deselect it. So you can go back and add the points and redo it. So you can add points to those edges there, but the rest of the time it'll snap towards what is contrasted against versus the background. We're gonna go through this here. But again, like I said before, this is a, a quick, easy way to do it. Um, in some cases, I will use this method just because considering the fact that these labels are only about half an inch to three quarters of an inch in height you know it's relatively small and keep in mind after you've selected and cropped out whatever logo you're using it's going to go on that label and fit into that label so you you won't, you won't be seeing so much of the imperfections you know, however, if you're a perfectionist, obviously you're going to know that, you know, this is the method you use to crop it out. Um, you know, if you have the time and nothing else to do, by all means, you can even go so far as to use the pen tool for even more precise measurements. So right there, you know, I see that curve. I'm just going to let it snap. And then once I see a defined edge, I'll make a point. And then, you know, same thing right before a curve, I'll make one point and I'll just let it snap. And this is a little bit more tedious, but it can be a bit more precise. This is the magnetic lasso tool, but you can also just use the other regular lasso tool. and manually select every little section. So with the other version of this tool, it will not snap for you. But because I'm using that magnetic one, it is snapping. So again, if you run into parts where you might need to redo it or you feel it didn't snap to your liking, you can just, again, press backspace and you'll be able to redo it. So that's with the magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to zoom back out. And there you go. Control C to copy it. And I'm going to shift Control V and paste that back in. So you can see the different. So we can see here the one on the bottom. 
There's not too much of a big difference. So either way, it doesn't really matter. And so, yeah, so the other tool instead of the magnetic would be the polygonal lasso tool. That's the one I talked about before where you would manually select and click each every individual point where you would like it to snap. Oh, that's not what I do. So the first method again would be the magic wand tool. If you can automatically pull that out. And second, you want to try the lasso tool, either the magnetic, if you want it to do some of the work for you, or the polygonal lasso tool, if you're looking for extra precise. Uh, it doesn't work as well if you have a lot of curves in your logo or title. Um, that's a bit more complicated. And last but not least, um, what you can do is play around with the brightness and contrast. So you can take that contrast up to 100, play around with it, and see where you like it. So most of the time, you're really looking to only grab, if anything, the shape of what you're looking for. So let's try that again, actually. So what you want to do, actually, is you want to duplicate the layer and make a copy of it and then play around with the brightness and contrast. So that'll give you that. And sometimes if you need to, you can go to image adjustments, go to black and white if you want to separate it that way. So if we do the magic wand tool now and control shift U inverse our selection again, control to shift I, that's going to give us, so we're going to remove the visibility of that layer and click onto our original layer that we want. And now we can control copy that and shift control V and paste that and that pulls it out another way. So those are the three methods. First off would be the magic wand tool. That's the simplest way of doing it, if you can. And then next thing would be the lasso tools. So magnetic lasso tool or polygonal. And then last but not least would be playing around with the brightness and contrast, and again, using magic wand tool or the lasso tools to manually hold those logos out and move them onto the label. So let's go ahead. We're gonna take this and bring it over to the template. So you can just drag it over. You can see here, this is that layer right there. And we're gonna work on that left side first label L01. So title goes here. I'm going to put that right on top and you can see it's disappeared. But we can press control T and we can see that it's boxed out right there and we're going to move it up here. There you go. And we can press control plus to zoom in. That's right next to backspace there. And we can try to get it right on, you press on the down arrow key. So we can see that it is, see, so now you see, once you see the middle cursor, I guess you'd call it, um, showing red, we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. That means it's centered. And then you can play around. So we're gonna press this maintaining aspect ratio to keep the height and the width the same. And let's see how it looks at 
it's pretty pretty small. You can try sixty. You can try seventy. All right, so we can leave that at seventy. That y. And press Control T again, and now you can actually rotate it to however you like. So let's try rotating it 12 and a half degrees. Does that look good? No, let's try 14. A little better. Let's try 15. Okay. 15 degrees. I press enter and it's going to keep that rotation. Uh, so I'm seeing an error now. So what you want to watch out for. Is when. You're pulling these logos out. You got to remember there's sometimes stuff in the middle blank space. So you can either do this beforehand. Or afterwards, while it's already minimized, we can zoom in and correct that. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool, delete it, backspace, select that, delete it with backspace. All right, so we're going to move this again. It's pretty good. It's a little crooked, but you can fix that and move that as you wish. And so let's go back here. Let's say we want to use this broad race cover for number four. I copy that image. You go back into Photoshop. Image goes here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see where it gets posted. So I can see that's where it is right there. We're going to bring this down to 75%. Let's see how that looks. That's pretty good. That apply. So this label part right here, the black part, I'm going to actually pull this to the side. So you're just going to use the move tool. You can also press shift while you're using it to keep it snapped to the grid. Um, but otherwise, it'll keep to the grid for the most part. And we're going to press this down here to see what effects and blending options are being used. So there's that black color overlay, that's what that is. And we're just gonna change that. So right now it's black. Let's see if it's this blue back here, what that looks like. That's not too great. That's a little bit of pink. Let's go with white. Yeah, so that's pretty good. You can also try yellow, it's right there. Try green if you'd like. Blue, stick with that blue right there. So there you go. And that's what the label is going to look like. All right, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.